Welcome to Electrical Stuff. In this video, we are going to learn about capacitor bank, components, general arrangement, and finally schematic diagram. In this video, I'm going to show you a 325 capacitor bank schematic also. Let's start our video. Capacitor banks are widely used in the power system to compensate the reactive powers. This is the general arrangement of a capacitor banks. In the general arrangement, the main importance of a general arrangement is that it will be give you a clear picture of component arrangements, how it will be arranged. So in this picture is a front elevation. In this area, you will be see the uh, incomer cables and the main switches. From here, we have a bus bus, bus bar to the fuse links. After fuse links, we have a contactors, contactors and relays. We have a relays. Then there is a power uh, relays, relays to the detent detune reactors and capacitors okay those those can be seen in in the uh, back view in the back view it, it can be seen as a capacitor banks see detune reactors and uh, if you look a side view how it look like see the main incomers and then the capacitor banks and detune reactors these are the uh, these are the general arrangement drawing details if you look a practical uh, this is a back view of a practical capacitor banks, uh, actual capacitor bank, you can say. If you, again, a little bit zoom, you see this one. These are the rack arrangement. Then the ra in these racks, capacitor banks are seated and we have a deuterium reactors. It is also, it will be sitting inside the back side of a panel. And this is a enclosure. So, now we will be see analyzing the components that's inside the capacitor banks. So why, why this video is important? Because if we understand the components inside the capacitor banks and schematic diagram, then only we can learn about how to, uh, how, the, how the capacitor bank calculations will be done. What is the deuterium reactors? What is its functioning? What is the capacitor banks and what is the functioning? where we use the uh, relays all those details will be when we, when we will be learn when we have a detailed component list and how the schematic diagram that's the reason why i'm explaining this video so if you see this one this is the first part enclosure enclosure is generally used for the protection of a capacitor bank so inside all capacitors and deuterium reactors controllers all will be kept inside the enclosure this is the first part Second thing is that manual dis switch disconnectors. Uh, this one is a act as a switch, which will be isolated from the supply to the capacitor bank side. Then we have a capacitors. Capacitors either can be single phase capacitors or three phase capacitors, which compensate the reactive power. And deuterium reactors. Deuterium reactors are used in series with the capacitor banks. So next we have a intelligent power factor controller. Intelligent power factor controller, it is a brain of a capacitor bank. So when we when the commands will be given to the capacitors and the reactors, and when it will be fan will be off and on, all those switching functions, uh, switching commands are given from the controllers. Next are the contactors and relays. These contactors and relays are a, acting as a switching function. When the commands are given from the controller, these contactors will be on and off, or relays will be on and off. Those functions are uh, those functions are performed by these contactors and relays. These are the fuse fuse links and uh, fuse bases. This is used the user for the circuit protection. Next thing is the con control relays. Control relays also act as uh, when this also acting as a uh, relay, relay basically on off switch purpose. Fuse disconnectors. These are the six ampere, five ampere circuit fuses. And thermostat. Thermostat used for the monitoring the temperature inside the capacitor banks. Ventilation fans. This is used for the heat dissipation purpose. So now I'm going to show you a schematic diagram of a capacitor bank. So if 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 we see capacitor bank schematic, I'm assuming a little bit. This is the from the bus bar. From the bus bus, we have a fuses. 
from fuse is we have a contactors contacted to the relay relay to the deuterium reactor and then capacitor banks this is how the capacitor bank schematic will be arranged now i'm going to show you a 325 ampere capacitor bank schematic diagram so this is a 325 capacitor bank schematic if you look this is a main in, main uh, incomer main bus you can say main incomer from this one cables will be top off top off to the i'm making a zoom a little bit so the from the main incomer cable will be connected to the our switch it is a isolation purpose hold hold the circuit so from this one we have a further it will be divided into the bus bar we have a bus bar this bus bar as i explained you earlier the similar arrangement will be there fuses contactors relays deuterium reactors and capacitor banks the same arrangement will be there we have a this is a 325 capacitor bank so these are the five steps of capacitor banks so 25 50 50 and 100 and 100 totally 100 100 200 250 300 325 so these are the 325 kvr capacitor bank when these capacitors will be on and off those commands will be given from the controller this is all depend upon the reactive power reactive power available at the load side according to the load compensation the controller will be tell that this switch now 100 kvr required so 100 kvr to be on or it can be either 50 50 like that it will be performed so these if you see this one it will be this this will be given to the controller controller side so now we will be see the controller side schematic this is a controller side schematic this controller side this is a controller in the controller these all are given to the these all are given to the our c1 c2 c3 c4 capacitor banks so these are the commands from here it it will be go to the controller and the controller also we have a this here 325 kvr capacitor we have a two thermostats these thermostats will be monitor the temperature and it will be the give the feedback to the controller and the controller we have a four fans inside the capacitor banks v vf1 vf2 vf3 vf4 four capacitor four fans are there these fans these fans are operated uh, these three fans operated from mcb and we have a switches then then uh, uh, then what we have these are the these are the supply given to the controller okay cf1 cf2 cf3 this from the fuses okay this is how this is how it will be given uh, this is how the 325 kvr capacitor bank so thanks for the watching so in next video i'm going to explain about the how the capacitor bank functioning what is the deuterium reactors how the load and uh, what is the load and reactive power and how the capacitors are compensation these are details these details will be i will explain in the coming videos thanks for watching if you have any doubts in this video please type in the comment section good day